Maguire has come under fire in recent weeks after a series of high-profile mistakes and he sent a message to his critics after scoring, holding his hands into his ears as if to say, I'm not listening or whatever. Um, he did actually come out afterwards and said that that's nothing, that's not really what I was doing. Um, but of course, like we'll make of it what we will. And Roy mm -hmm. King was in the studio for ITV. He wasn't impressed. He said this, that's embarrassing. He has a, he's been a disgrace the last few months in Manchester United. Put his hands to his ears like he is shutting the critics up. I think that's embarrassing. Um, also, Ian Wright was in there and said, look, mm -hmm. now I'm not a player anymore. I, I don't think you need to do it. But when I was a player, is it something I'd do? Probably. Yeah. Um, you do things in the heat of the moment, I imagine. Uh, Gabby, you actually defended Harry Maguire on Saturday night. This is the reason why we want to go back over this again, because yeah. you're in here today. Um, but of course, Simon Jordan believes that Keane's comments were fair. Have a listen to this. I don't know whether it's a disgrace for Harry Maguire to cup his ears and to push back on it. I do think that 90% of Roy Keane's observations about his performances have been absolutely right. I do think he's been very poor. Um, I don't think it resolves any issues by scoring a gain, goal against Albania. I think if it didn't affect him, then he wouldn't feel the need to make a demonstration about it. Look, the bottom line is, in this, cult in this culture, it seems, unless you praise somebody, then it's not right. People can't be criticised, people can't be observed, people can't disagree with one another. The language that we use can't be strident, it has to be nicely homogenised and sanitised. If Roy Keane thinks that Harry Maguire, as an £18 million centre-half, supposedly the captain of Man United, has been absolutely crap, then he should be able to say it. And in fact, he has been. OK, there you go. That's what Simon Jordan thinks. Um, I want to know what you think, Gabby, because yeah. um, you are a player, and, and uh, yes, Roy Keane was. Um, Simon Jordan, not so much. <laughs> Didn't, but, he, didn't he play? Didn't he play? But has I don't not, not well, well, he didn't play for his country. Not you think he played the way he talks? Yeah, um, I think he probably has a kick around in the dog duck <laughs> that Jamie O'Hara is a part of, perhaps. Um, but let, let's talk about it because you were quite strong with what yeah. you said, and and we just have to also make sure that that we know that he's basically saying that his previous results, uh, previous performances at Manchester United have been a disgrace. He said the the goal celebration was embarrassing. Yeah, but I feel that. Has his performances been up to scratch for Manchester United? No, they haven't. You know, I think disgrace is a bit of a harsh word. You know, I think he hasn't been at his best. Like a lot of players that played in Euros for England haven't been at their best. But the celebration for me, what are, what are Maguire should have done is owned it afterwards and says, yeah, so what? I put my hands up celebrating a goal for my country. I've been having critics. This is the first game since the, the, the last game I had for Manchester United where I was poor. You know, all he can do is go out there, put in a good performance, and that's what he did. Yes, it was against Albania. Yes, it was against San Marino the last game. But he's probably building his confidence back up. The next game against Watford on the weekend, he'll probably go into that, hopefully have a good game and hopefully keep a clean sheet. But I just feel some of the comments that whenever Roy Keane speaks, it's like, oh, OK, everyone jumps on the bandwagon. Yeah, he's embarrassing. Yeah, he's a disgrace. He's a footballer. Like Everyone's quick to, to um, talk about mental health, but then... Footballers that are playing now shouldn't shouldn't go through it. You think Harry Maguire is not looking after the game after he scored and thinking, why well, am I getting battered on social media? I've scored a goal for my country. You know, like he, he's probably thinking, I can't win here. So, me as, as being a player recently, I know how it feels when sometimes you're getting battered after games. And Harry Maguire has performances for Manchester United haven't been up to his standards. But when he scores for his country, let him celebrate however he wants to. Okay, so basically, Ray, I'll put the question to you as well because Gabby is kind of leaning towards the pundits perhaps should have, do they have to have well, more responsibility to, for well, not encouraging a, a pile on or is it just their job to I say what I think it's their see? job to, to say what they see and if he's not performing, the problem is that Harry Maguire set really high standards yep. and we, I, know, I know he had his injury and he's come back and he's not probably has been as good as he was before yep. he had the injury and sometimes it does take a little bit more time to players to get back into... To, to play on, on a regular basis and, and get that confidence back. But, yeah, I mean, Roy Keane, he says what it is, doesn't he? You know, and he's, he's, he's got an opinion to say, well, I wouldn't have had that in the dressing rooms or... And people demand... Uh, different stuff off. You right there, Laura? I've got hiccups. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm trying <laughs> to hide the fact I've got hiccups. <laughs> I had a. I thought you know, was a little frog in here or something. I'm so sorry. So, but uh, I can see. Look, I can see. Well, it, if, if, Harry, if Harry's a very genuine uh, guy. I think he's. Um, I really like Harry Maguire. I think he's a good player. He had that big money move, and people always questions about how much he's worth. But he's certainly. I think he's been a very important player for Manchester United. I know his form's gone a little bit and the mistakes he's been making and Manchester United are doing that, not doing that well at the moment. 
Um, you can't, you can't bat someone right for you, a celebration of do a goal. Do you really need to? Go, do you, if you're Harry Maguire, just get on with it. Yeah, but sometimes I mean, though, do like, you really you, need to say? Yeah, but you played Ray. Sometimes when you're in that emotion, everyone's battering you on social media. It's going to be a natural thing to do. You're going to score a goal. And for think, me, you know what? Put your hands. Maybe you thought afterwards, Gabby. oh, my hands were on my ears. But he's he's, he's thinking, if, I'm getting battered daily. If I'm, I'm going to celebrate, like, I'll do I, exactly the same. If I'm playing poorly and you're getting battered and you're getting a little bit of stick. And you do see it, of course you do. Mm. And there's no, there's no doubt you do see it because you do read papers, you do read, especially now with the social yeah, media. Do you know what you got to do? I, I would go, go into into training, work that a little bit harder, and, mm. and try and get it and, and prove people wrong. Yeah. That's, sure that that's was my sure mentality. I, don't, I wouldn't want to go yeah. and try and wind fans, up, well, wind anybody up. Yeah, but he's, with pro- it. he's not that sort of guy. He's, he's probably done it and then pulled his hands away and thought, okay, do you know mm. what I mean? He probably is working hard, training hard. He looks like that sort of character. I think Try we're, not we're, let we're, it affect you then. Yeah, but we're quick to forget what he'd done in the Euros. I feel like, oh, that's gone now. We got to the final. But he was outstanding. Give the guy a bit of, like, you know what I mean? Like, cut him some slack. I've seen loads of ex-players and players now come out and say, you know what, they totally agree. We're always being too hard on him. Give the guy a chance. You know what I mean? He's probably working hard in training. The next game against Watford, he's probably going to come out and try and play his best football and keep hmm. clean sheets and defend properly. I feel like, yes, you can... Criticise players for poor performances, but when players you're always score get a goal, that, Gabby, no, 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 I, I've got no problem you with know, that. You're always going to get criticised. Yeah, I'm not, I didn't say that he, he shouldn't be criticised by, by your own fans, by different fans, you know, yeah. uh, by pundits. Yeah, that's, that's, it's yeah, be. I haven't, I haven't We've said, all been there. I haven't said that isn't a problem. I'm not saying he shouldn't no. be criticised. Of course, he should. He's not having a good game, of course, but. When you score a goal, give the guy a break. Simple as that. That's what I say. Breathe in, Laura. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really hold your sorry. hold your breath at least. And I think I think as well, like it's, it's, quarter, it's, it's, <laughs> Laura, it's easy for like Simon Jordan to come on here and batter everyone. And most of the time, what Simon Jordan says is right. But I think even little digs at me when he's on the show, and I'm thinking, come on, Simon, you're like a failed club owner. Come on, you can't batter me, please. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.